Bosco time. All the things that you need for Bosco. your home price is so low, you will never need never. a loan at Bosco. Tell it. At Bosco. Watch where you're shopping. Appliances, houseware, furniture, and rugs. Gifts and linens and glass All and mugs at Bosco. You have something, there's something right, I'm gonna help you with it. I got this, it's right, it's right there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching. Welcome to the Bashko Show. Thank you for being with us now and always. We know you are big fans of the show and you know, we try and make sure we have stuff to show you, exciting stuff to talk about, and that's why you're here today with me. So thank you again. We're gonna start right here. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about some of this stuff on this rack, even though it might seem simple. Uh, Pots, frying pans, we've always had them, Bashkos always, always had them. But sometimes we do something a little different and sometimes we bring back in stuff that you've been requesting and I'm always excited when we can do that and we get a chance to do that. So rather than start at eye level, I'm actually gonna start down here because this is one of the things that people asked us to get back in and I'm very glad to say we've gotten them back in. These are the cast iron skillets and grill pans. All right guys, now if you don't know, Cast iron is some of the best, or cast iron pans are some of the best pans you can use for a variety of cooking options. And one of the benefits of a cast iron, full iron pan is that this is straight from stovetop into your oven. So a lot of your cooking applications can be done on stovetop. Well, make sure you wear some kind of protective mitt. You can put this in your oven if the meal requires that it be finished in your oven. So say you're making um, steak, you're making pork chops, if you're doing that, you can take this, you just sear it in the pan, and the whole pan can go straight into your oven after. Uh, it does take some care, but this will be some of the best. Oh, this is awesome. Can I borrow this? This is great. So this is a silicone handle sleeve, all right? So this would be a great way, as I was just explaining, say you're finished cooking with this on your stovetop, and you wanna put it into your oven, or it's in your oven, and you wanna take it back out of the oven. There you go. And silicone is really, really, really good for absorbing heat. So the heat transfer will not be going into your hand. The idea behind that, of course, is that you don't burn yourself on the real steel here. All right, guys? So like I said, it may take a bit more care, but cast iron is a fantastic type of cookware to be used with a lot of cooking applications. You could even bake in cast iron. So that might sound strange to you, but you can take a cast iron, let's say the larger cast iron, okay? And you can start the prep for a cake in this and you push the whole thing in your oven, all right? There are a lot of recipes online for that. In fact, the recipe is on the back of this. So <laughs> check out the cast iron, guys. And if you want to get those really nice grill marks without having to go onto a barbecue grill, we do have the cast iron grill pan as well, all right? This is a big favorite for, I know, a lot of chefs a lot of cooks have actually come in here asking for these things, and now we have them, and I'm very happy about that. Now, along the way, this is really cool, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, along the way, uh, if you've been following us on our social media feeds as well, I had a, a, a info corner video where I spoke about different types of nonstick coating. So a lot of people would know Teflon or polytetrafluoroethylene. That is the standard or the original nonstick coating that you would find available on most nonstick cookware, all right? Then I also spoke about the marble coating, which is new, very interesting. And I also had a chance to speak a bit on ceramic coating. Guys, I encourage you, if you wanna know more about that, these are beautiful, beautiful frying pans that look good in any home. Don't feel like, oh, I can't have that in my home. No, these are beautiful, beautiful. It's a very soft touch um, design to use with any type of cooktop. Oh, this is cool. So what this means on it, um, PFOA and PTFE free. Uh, I spoke about, that, spoke about that on my Info Corner video. You can check it out, it's on YouTube. Uh, PFOA is and PTFE. PTFE is polytetrafluoroethylene. What it means is that when you heat this, there's no chemical compound that might come off during heating. Cool? So check it out guys, and let me know what you think about it. 
Uh, we have a, a variety of cookware as well, like I said. We have the, the large Dutch pots and cookware sets that we got back in. And I'm happy and excited that we have those for you. Cool, oh, see we have it in colors. Have it in red too? This is really cool. I've seen red, green, blue, orange. This is really nice. And this says they are rated for up to, whoop, hello. These are rated <laughs> up to 500 degrees fat. <laughs> rated for up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can have the average stove have four burner. You can have one on each of your pans, right? If they are, oh, see, great example. So this would be ideal in a case where it's on your stove top and you have an aluminum handle. It's not uh, a plastic coated or a wooden handle, which in which case the, the heat will be transferred better for you. When you have the, the aluminum, if the pot is maybe over a burner that's a little bit bigger, you can get a lot of heat transferred to this. You will burn your hand. No longer with the handy and the Imusa silicone pot handle. Right? <laughs> so come back to see them, guys. Is there a... I think they're all over the place. I, I, I'll get the price for you guys and let you know. But these are really, really nice. Come and check these out when you, when you get a chance. All right, so we're gonna take a little walk. As soon as I figure out how to put these back, or I can do it by the magic of television. We'll see. And I, I suddenly am aware, all of a sudden, that they're just $260 for each one of these guys. Okay, suddenly became magically aware. <laughs> oh, it's over here too. <laughs> You want to see? It's right here. <laughs> so don't take my word for it. See it here. See? I'm not making it up. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to take a little walk, staying in this same aisle, in the same um, area of the store. I'm going to put this one back here. Cool. We're going to take a look at a very useful, larger item. A lot of people use them now. A lot of different types of industries use them. Uh, it's a big hit in here. We make sure we have it very, very often. We try our best to make sure it stays in stock. And those are our Sterilite large containers. So yes, you might know the Rubbermaid containers or the food containers that you'd have for small ones. But if you're moving or you're packing up something, maybe you're a UE student or a UTech student or a tertiary education student and you're relocating some stuff. Maybe you have a bunch of books. Maybe you're in an office setting. Maybe you are an engineer, a sound engineer you're on the road. Maybe you're a videographer and you want to be able to store maybe your cables and your connections and a variety of different things. You want to make sure you have these to help you out. We have a variety of sizes, um, some more rugged ones. I think we have ones that lock as well. So we're going to take a look at those in a minute. Okay, so here we are in the Sterilite area and in almost any of the bachelor locations, it's kind of in the same spot. You'll find a Sterilite in the same area you find our large plant pots and some of our plastic containers. And what I'm excited for here is to show you that Okay, so you might know those ones, the, the drawer type ones. You might be very familiar with those for your various storage or drawer solutions. But maybe you didn't know that if you look down here, Sterilite has some very large, some very rugged in some cases, heavy duty containers that you can use. In fact, I've even seen some people using this to, to season meat, which is amazing if, you, if you, you, know, you think about it. Season meat in a big plastic container, but it works. And what we've tried to do at Bash was we have so many different styles, so many different sizes in the Sterilite line to make sure that you have something you need to pack your stuff in. Now one of the ones I'm very keen on, this is very big, it's also very heavy. So I can tell you guys, I've moved house recently, okay? And I used one of these units. I really love this thing, okay? So it has, the handy dandy locking handles on either side. It has this groove here, so if you wanted, you could pad lock this, or tie strap it if you're so inclined. So nobody can open it until you're ready to open it. The inside is very large, very spacious. So a whole heap of things can go in there. Whether it's your moving house, like I said, or maybe you have a bunch of equipment, some cables, some wiring, whatever it is. And, best part about this, aside from the fact that it's very stackable, is the handy dandy carrying handle. Right? That makes moving a breeze, an absolute breeze. I think if you really wanted to, not that we don't have, we have igloos, but if you really wanted to, you could probably just throw ice in this and turn it into a rolling cooler as well. As my friend would always have said, when you buy it, you do with it what you feel like. Cool? 
but the Sterilite line continues guys we have it in the clear ones that you can see I see this a lot in like universities and, and schools they're using it to, to store papers and I've actually seen a doctor that uses this for their paperwork so coming on this side now you see this very large unit has smaller versions to it all right so aside from the the large one with the wheels you can also get this still in the Sterilite line consider their industrial grade stuff so smaller but still has the locking features that I mentioned before and still that sturdy, strong, <laughs> strong feet. And this one is different, so it kind of latches open and close. So, we're in the Sterilite aisle and I have a lot to show you, but I need to talk about something that we're very, very excited about. Some of you, most of you hopefully, know very well our Ocho Rios store, but the upstairs of that store is going through some changes and we have a little prips to show you. Okay, so we're gonna go to that in a second, but I also want to be very excited to tell you, I want to be very excited and I am very excited to tell you that June 29th, me and the Bashko squad will be in Sav Lamar for our customer appreciation day, guys. That is 36 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar. We will be there from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll have music by DJ Roddy G. We have games and giveaways and excitement, so please be there June 29th. And before you get there, let me take you to Ocho Rios for a little prips. Thank you, Omar, for that introduction. By the magic of television, I'm suddenly in sunny, sunny Ocho Rios here at 24 Main Street. And yes, there has been some exciting developments here at the Ocho Rios store. And it's a long, interesting story of how we've gotten this far, and I'm going to share it with you. We have to go and see our upstairs area to see the things that have been done to really make this store an even better shoppable experience for all of our customers. And if you've never been and you have no idea where 24 Main Street Ocho Rios is, it's right in the town next to a very, very popular fried chicken chain. So without any further ado, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Come here. Hey, I was taking you upstairs, but I got a little distracted, understandably so. One of the things that we haven't even had a chance to talk about yet is the fact that our Ocho Rio store has food items in it. Well, that is exciting. The whole addition of grocery and food items to any Bashko location was a whole new thing we started in 2017. So we are in 2019 and we still haven't mentioned all of the stuff we have available. So I am not in Wow by Bashko where you guys have come to expect this right now. I'm not in our Spanish town location where you know for a fact we have these things. I am still at 24 Main Street Ocho Rios and very excitedly we have a lot of let's call them your snack cakes of various sizes we have bread we have cinnamon buns we have muffins we have milo cookies it's all very exciting we have breakfast cereals and over here we have juices of all types of varieties uh, milk uh, sparkling wine non-alcoholic wine regular wines juices there, there's a big list there's a lot of stuff here in the food um, category the grocery and food category uh, and it's exciting so don't worry I promise I'll bring you guys back for a full look at everything that Otrius has to offer but I just couldn't help myself I had to show you this So guys, we are about midway through the store and right where I am seated is uh, the fantastic steps we have in Ocho Rios now. But if you are an older Ocho Rios Bashko shopper, you would think that the stairs were amazing too because we didn't always have nice stairs like this in here. Behind me used to be our warehousing area and to my left were all counters and cages when we had our wholesale style location. So previously our upstairs area was dedicated to just warehousing and there was actually a bank in you too man have a nice day yeah, bless up, man. Make up yeah. uh, at the front of the store was a bank the, the bank vacated and we took some of that space and made a retail location while we still continued our wholesale style on the ground floor nice job. hi thank you <laughs> all right people in Ocho Rios are very friendly <laughs> and now uh, what we have on the ground floor we have your kitchenware and you have some of your toys some of your plastics and your large igloos and that continues all throughout most of the bashko locations so if you've never been to an ocho rio store guys I, I, uh, to a bashko store but you're in the ocho rio here come on to 24 main street ocho rio like we always tell you okay uh, upstairs is different now we have taken out some shelving to make more space for furniture we've moved some stuff 
around. We've taken up all the space that was used previously for warehousing. Uh, we're using a whole different policy where we do a direct to shelf. So when it comes on our trucks, guys, it goes straight to the shelves to make more shoppable stock for you and, you know, have less useless space. All right. So we are very excited now, without further ado, to take you to see what we've done in upstairs 24 Main Street, Ocho Rios. Please use the handrails. So upstairs in 24 Main Street, Ocho Rios is now a whole different place than what it used to be. But don't take my word for it. Let me talk to someone who's very, very busy shopping. Hi. What's up? This is Mackenzie. Say hi, Mackenzie, everybody. Hi, Mackenzie. All right. Now tell me who you are, dear. I am Lenora. I get the feeling that you come to Bashko very frequently. Very much. And I heard you, I must say, I did mishear her, guys. You know how TV works. We do like three and four takes to get this right. Yeah. All right? You are saying that this store is much better now. Tell me what you think of what we've done up here. Because you move up the things and from downstairs, yes. you have more space to look around. And then you are looking straight through now. You don't have anything in the middle stopping your eyesight. Tell me something. Did you shop with us way, way back when, when the bank used to be in the front of the building? Yes. So you remember when the bank was there too? I and when downstairs was all cage and thing? when downstairs was just cage. You remember that too? All that. So you've been a shop with us from way back from then? From way back then. You never work here them time. From Bosco. <laughs> from Bosco just came to what you is. Thank you. Uh, and so from then to now, how do you feel about Bosco? Feel comfortable. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your and time. The staff are the staff are, are pleasant. Thank you. <laughs> so you get the bigger. Thank you. So that's not just my view. We didn't stage that. Not not just well, some of it we did, but not all of it. Alright guys. So like I was saying, up here was very, very different. There was a lot of stuff that ran up the aisles and down the aisles up here. So you couldn't have this pan this view. You like it too? Yes. You wanna come and tell them how much you like it? Yes. Come tell him. Come, come, come. So tell everybody your name. Uh, my name is Beverly Douglas. Beverly Douglas. So you have also been shopping at Bashko for a long time too. From it open. From it open. Mm. So you know as well when it used to be a bank up here in the corner too. Right. And what do you think of all of this up here now? Very good. Great. Space and everything. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, you see, it's not just me telling you guys. This is amazing what we've done up here and it is by request. So up here, like I was saying, you, know, you can find your uniforms, you can find your back, some of your back to school items, your small appliances, and a whole lot of space um, to see you now maybe how things look better in your home or in your office space. And this is done just for you guys. And before we end the upstairs segment, let me take you so you can see where that line of demarcation was. And here we are. Beneath me, you will see green tiles, and these tiles were our lines of demarcation, if you will, or originally where the bank was, and then the retail style store that we started with in Ocho Rios. But of course, since then, we have expanded all of this to give you what you can now see. No more dividers or very little division between what you want to see on the upstairs. And when you come up our stairs in 24 Main Street, you'll be able to look wide at everything you can see on the upstairs level. from back to school items to <laughs> furniture, teddy bears, curtains, and a whole lot more right here at 24 Main Street Ocho Rios. So I hope this has been fun for you. What's been fun for me is watching these guys follow me around everywhere I go in the store. Hi, say hi. Hi. What's your name? Tiona. Tiona and Renee. Your shirt, your name is on your shirt. Yes, sir. Can I see it? Can I see it? Spin around. So your name is Tiwi Adon. Is that Adon or Aiden? T so Tiwi Adon, yes. and what's your name there? Stacy Henry. Stacy Henry. Is Stacy Henry the Don too? No. no. What is Stacy? Is it on your your shirt? Have it? No, sir. Oh, so you are the captain. Yes, sir. You're the real boss. Yes, sir. Okay, and who are you? Renee. Renee, and you came all the way just to watch me walk up and down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, in truth, you guys are frequent visitors to the Ocho Rio store. Yes, sir. Just call me Omar. No, this yes sir, yes sir okay, thing okay, making okay, me feel okay, very Omar. strange. Thank you. Yes. So, <laughs> so you come, so you come here regularly. Yes, Omar. So you like you like what we've done up here now to make more space? Yes, Omar. What do you think? It's good. Come now. Stop standing over there and talk to her. Come now. Okay, from my opinion, it's good and it's really nice. Yeah. And wonderful. It's a wonderful place. Thank you very much. We have a video.
Come now. You want to come in too? All right, no, but like I said to you guys earlier, the people in Ocho Rios are really fun and they're really friendly. So I think that's enough I can show you guys right now. We'll see you next time. I'll send you back to Omar, the other Omar, who's currently in Kingston. So go to him. Go to him. So that is a just small preps of Ocho Rios and the stuff that we've been doing down there. And don't worry, guys. I promise once it is fully ready, I will take the whole crew with me and give you a full show of what the Ocho Rios store has become right there at 24 Main Street. Now, getting back to where we are, we've only seen some of the stair light line. It is a massive, massive line. And I'm encouraging you guys to come in and see how big the line is for yourself. There are baskets for your clothes, there are small containers for your kitchen usage, there are more large containers that you can be using for multiple purposes, uh, both in home, work, school, whatever you want to say, or whatever you want to use it for. Sterilite is a very, very massive line of stuff that can probably give you the storage solution you're looking for. All right? Now, aside from storage, we're going to continue up this aisle because it is the summertime, and along with the other things that the summertime means, a lot of people take to doing some freshening up and doing some gardening, maybe doing some beautification in some of the areas outside and inside your home. Like this young lady right here who's buying some beautiful looking plant pots. But I'm not going to trouble you, okay? Thank you very much for shopping today, okay? You're welcome. Good, good, thank you. So I am going to talk about the variety of planters and plant pots we have because I really like them. So what we see over here is a weave style that we've had before, but different colors and different styles. Now, I, I really like this, this style. So, say you have a theme and you want to maintain that basket weave style. We have a lot of between sizes and colors and styles. Even in the very large, I'm going to go on your side here. Sorry to bother you again. From coming from this big size here, which I would imagine someone who is more a green thumb than I would tell you, you can probably do a potted palm in something like this. A smaller one maybe and then if you want to get more towards these smaller ones you have sizes that come from we have um, 12 inch you have a 13.5 inch and 9.8 inch I like this pink one too I think this would be very nice um, you know on a driveway you set them up on your driver almost like a you know how you do with solar lanterns but instead of doing lanterns you do plants it could be a very nice design and then you have these smaller ones suited for still outdoor or if you wanted to go indoor with some of your designs and then we have again the Really large ones. I like this. It's like a copper finish. And it is very much. Oh, I should show you. So it does have holes in it, guys. It has this whole thing is the actual saucer part. It comes off. I don't want to break it. But you can see it um, those little knobs there. You push those out and the whole base just kind of comes off. If you're wondering what's up with the saucers, these ones have them attached to them. That's the style that this one is. Okay. Uh, we do have it in a like a square version and smaller ones. I could see this more in a uh, maybe indoor in your home on top of a, a table, maybe on a small patio. Okay, you could definitely be using those. Now, if you're going to be outside or inside and doing any type of home decor and decorating over the summer, you would have noticed that even from April last summer, you had ton up. It is very hot, so we have a lot of fans to help cool you down. We're gonna take a walk over there right now. So, like I was saying, it's very hot this summer. It feels like this summer started somewhere about January. And it just kept getting hotter this summer from January right back to, to now June. But we have fans to help you keep cool <laughs> in the hot season. All right, I'm standing up very comfortably next to a Nova 16 inch oscillating standing fan in white. And if you come over here with me, you'll see the entire range of fans that we have available. So we have your wall mount fans, we have your tower fans, we have box fans, we have what we call the cyclone fan, we have fans that use uh, remotes. Uh, we even have, we should mention this, and this is just the motor, but we even have the industrial ceiling fans. If people don't know about this, we do have these that you can use to cool down um, warehouse spaces, office spaces, such like that, even some schools. So we do have these available, guys. And this is just $4,900, just $4,900 for an industrial ceiling fan. It comes in two boxes. You get the blades in one box and the motor in the other box. All right? Cool. So keep cool this summer with 18-inch well, fans, 16-inch uh, fans, 
table fans, like I said, uh, remote control fan. See, this one's a remote control fan right here. All right? So over oscillating, 70 degree tilting and 90 degree oscillation, three speeds, three airflow modes, remote control, LED indicator. And that's a Nova fan, all right? You may not have known that. It's a Nova fan. You know, we talk a lot about how good the brand Nova is. It's the name in outstanding value appliances. And that is also the brand that our amazing smart TV is available in. Cool, guys? So. Uh, we're at fans right now, and while we still have a little bit of time, I'm going to take you over to see the start of the Battle School supplies that Bashko has in store for you this year. All right, guys, so as a very, very good friend of all of ours would always say, start early with your Battle School supplies so it doesn't all come on you at once towards September. Every mickle make a muckle, so take your time and get the stuff that you need. And we at Bashko make sure we can have your back for back to school. So we have already started to have your back to school supplies in stock. Okay, so start talking about your, your notebooks. You start talking about your pencil cases or your supply boxes. And funny, this is actually a Sterilite item as well. We were talking about Sterilite just a short while ago, and this is a Sterilite item as well. Okay, so your sketch pads, your folder, your binders, your um, three subject notebooks, your five subject notebooks, your portfolios, very, very nice, very useful. Even for office applications, a portfolio adds a very professional touch to the documents you'll be submitting. All right, that's really nice. Okay, so remember to come in from early. All right, I'm gonna take you down just to see some of the stuff that we would have. We will have all of your composition books. We will have all of the pencil cases. We'll have all the stationery supplies. We'll have everything that you could possibly need, including people who are running from you in the aisles when they think the camera's coming down there. Don't worry about it, it's gonna happen one day, I promise, okay? So, like I said, we'll have your hardcover books, we'll have your, the book bags. We're gonna definitely, definitely be spending some time looking at your backpacks and your lunch bags. And one of the things I know you guys are very interested to hear about, of course, will be your uniforms. Your khaki, your white blouses, guys. We have them and we're getting more of them in the sizes that you need. Some of these children are wearing some very big sizes these days. So we'll make sure to have that stuff available for you. And you'll also be seeing the stuff that's gonna be on your book lists, aside from your textbooks, okay? So your geometry sets, your markers, your highlighters, your small notebooks, chalk, paints, tape, um, uh, pencils, of course, how do I forget pencils? Erasers, pencil cases, all different types of pens. We will have them for you and we will go through that later on uh, towards the, the year. And thank you very much for being with us. Uh, please go on social media and tell us what you thought about Ocho Rios and what else you wanna see. We are uh, www.facebook.com slash B-A-S-H-C-O and at Bashko Jamaica. And please come and check us out if you're gonna be in Westmoreland, June 29th in South Lamar for our customer appreciation day. We'll see you guys there. Bashko time. All the things that you need.